guys, how's it going? So today we're gonna to try out a fun new tool. Aaron just ordered this eight inch battery operated pole saw. So previously, like up to this point, this is the pole saw that I have been using. This is a Fiskar 16 foot, I think, extendable pole saw. And I really like it. It's my favorite pole saw that I've ever used, but it is still manual. So, you know, you get it up in the tree and you still have to use your own strength to get things cut down. And I will probably always recommend this one because it is inexpensive too and it works so well. But if we can make our lives a little bit easier, I'm all about that too. So we do have several trees where we've kind of walked around and figured out what we need to do to shape or take out dead. Um, so we're gonna get this out of the box and then go around and try it out for you guys. So a couple of things that I noticed on the box right away is that it does have a 15 foot maximum reach. So it's just one foot shy of my manual pruner. Um, the saw is eight inches and then it weighs about eight, it says 8.44 pounds. That's without the battery. So this is a bare tool. This did not come with the battery, so it was much less expensive to buy because the battery is probably the most expensive part. Um, and the reason why we go with DeWalt, we feel like they have a pretty wide range of tools and they've always worked really well for us. But the main reason is because the batteries are interchangeable. So I can use the same battery on with this as I can with my blower, with my hedge trimmer, with our chop saw, with our jigsaw. They all work with each other. So we were able to order this without the battery and get it a lot cheaper. Okay, so now I'm gonna open the box and get it out. Okay, so this is the bottom of it where we attach our battery. This is the middle section. And the saw portion. Take a look at that right there. Yeah, this is the part that's got definitely the most weight. What? Yeah, Aaron's laughing at me for reading the instructions. Aaron, this is a saw. Would you like to do the video, Aaron? <laughs> Oh, there's arrows. <laughs> that was easy. So you just push it on where the arrows meet right there. And then there's this little plastic piece that goes and screws on and gets it all tightened up. Okay, that was easy. Oh, so this is 15 foot from the gate. Is that 15? I mean, that's like, hoo -yah. Hoo. So somehow, that extends. somehow this extends. Well, maybe if we'd read the instructions, maybe, we would know. We yeah. So we were trying to figure out how this was not 15 feet because it says 15 foot max. But then I re realized that there's a little asterisk right after it says that. And then if I look down, it says based on a six foot person holding the pole in a straightened position at shouldered level. <laughs> little marketing ploy there. So it won't be quite 15 feet because I'm not six feet. And that would be if I was holding it up, like holding it up here. So anyway, here's the battery. This is one that we already had and it is fully charged. Okay, I'm gonna take this off right there. So now I want to try out the trigger here and I noticed that there's a safety and it doesn't lock. So you have to, which is good. It's probably a good safety feature. You have to do this first and then push the lever down and then you can pull the trigger. Nice. Okay. So now we're going to go to the first tree and we'll give it a shot. So the first branch I want to cut is just right up here. This is our mulberry tree. We had to have a lot of this tree cut out last year to lighten the canopy. Um, so we could hopefully get some more years out of this tree. But this one branch was damaged and it's just been kind of dangling there and bugging me. I already noticed that it's too tall for this um, battery operated one. So we do have a ladder out here. So look at this. And I think that's a, for a good reason. Like you don't really want this any longer because I think it would be too hard to manage because the end is the heaviest part. But I wanted to contrast this one with our manual pruner. This is fully extended and I think this is a true 16 feet, not whilst holding it up by your shoulder. But I just wanted to show you that it totally reaches and it would be comfortable to cut that out just with using this. So I just wanted to contrast um, kind of that sort of situation and which tool might work better. I am going to try it out with the ladder because I, I really want to use this tool. <laughs> ladder feels solid. And I do have a pair of glasses, a pair of Aaron's glasses. I can't find our safety glasses, but 
when you're standing down below and pruning something up above, all of those pieces of bar uh, bark and whatever debris come down and they can get in your eyes and it hurts. So I'm gonna try to avoid that today. Get it positioned properly here. Definitely less effort with this one. So I'm a little bit disappointed that I can't reach taller things with this, but honestly, I don't think like me personally, if it was longer, it would be too hard for me to hold it. I don't think Aaron would probably have an issue. He could probably have it extended out another six feet. He's stronger than me though. Um, but I do wanna take it around the rest of the garden and try it out on some lower things. Uh, and I've got several different like sizes of branches we're gonna be trying it out on as well. I've got a big branch in one of our willow trees that needs to come out that's pretty good size and then a bunch of little stuff. So. Let's head out and get those done. So just to give you guys an idea of how big that branch was, these were both just broken stumps. This branch broke off in a storm. Uh, and so that went through pretty slick and a very clean cut. But there is a few more dead branches up in the, throughout the center that we're gonna take out. cut out of the scarlet curls willow this tree has given me fits every single year and I could actually spend a lot of time right now just fine-tuning but I got the bulk of the dead out of the interior of the tree so I'll come back out here later and do some fine pruning but what I found was very helpful Whew. is this right here because <laughs> as soon as I cut the branch you know oftentimes especially if they've got tons of little branches they stay up in the tree so I would hook the branch with this right here and drag it down. I don't know if that's what it's there for, but it sure worked well. So this juniper right here is the last thing I wanna to tackle today, and I don't need to do anything major, thankfully. I just wanna lift the canopy just a little bit, and kind of, there's a couple of stubby looking branches that need to come out, um, but this is our driveway right here, and so when delivery trucks come through here or any big vehicle, they always hit. They're hitting all these lower branches, so I'm gonna to try to just lift that up a little bit, should be pretty easy because it's all clear underneath here. I think that's actually the biggest branch I need to take out like diameter wise. I wonder, you know what? I think this would be a really good location to see if I can take this middle piece out because I'm not having to lift it very high into the tree and it is quite hard um, when you've got it this long when the branches are so low. So let me do that really quick, see how that works or if it works. <laughs> much here I'm gonna come back out a little bit later and maybe do a tiny bit more but I think I've used this enough now to where I can give you my thoughts so my initial reaction to the tool is that I like it it's fun to use because it's a lot faster than the manual tool obviously I mean it cuts through branches a lot quicker I also like that it um, cuts small branches on flexible so like in the willow trees it's really hard to use the saw portion of your manual because the it just jostles the branch around too much and you can't get a good grip so then you find yourself needing to, to flip 
flip the tool around, there is a lopper on the other side of the manual pull pruner, and then you have to use the big long string, which the string is a total pain. I'm not gonna lie, on that pull pruner, it gets caught on branches and I'm constantly having to like untangle it, but the tool itself works really good. But this one you can use on small branches, large branches, and so I do like the capability of being able to do that. Um, obviously like that I can shorten it up a little bit. And I was just looking, wanted to show you guys that the battery power, after all we just did is still a full power. So I don't really know like how long you can use this before it'll actually need a battery change, which is really nice. Um, I did look up the price for the bare tool. We paid $150. Um, and like I said, we already had the battery here. Uh, it cut through everything I needed it to cut through today. I wasn't doing, and really I don't have any business cutting huge branches out of trees because that's dangerous. Uh, this probably, uh, it has the capability of doing anything that I have the ability to remove myself. Um, and it does look like, because we thought, well, I wonder if we could order a second one of these. Like if there's an extension you can order separately to make it longer. You can order this piece as a replacement part, but nowhere on the website does it like recommend using it in addition to another one of the center parts to make it longer. Um, it's something we might try. I don't even know if it would work um, that way. I like the length of it. I mean, I know it's a pain that you can't get really, really high in trees, but I don't really find the need to do that too often. And if it was any longer for me and for my strength level, I think it would be too hard to control. Um, Aaron says that he wishes that he could have the ability to extend it out. And that's why we were looking up to see if we could get an extension. So overall, when the whole thing's assembled, it's about 10 feet long, and then I can hold it at about five feet, which is uh, right about here-ish on me. So I can reach things about 15 feet up in a tree. So if you have a lot of pruning to do within that reach, um, maybe you're taller than me, most people are, so you can reach a little bit taller, or if you're comfortable with ladders to reach higher things, and I would definitely recommend this at this point because I was able to buzz through those projects really quickly. Definitely wear your safety glasses though, or. Aaron's sunglasses because like it was coming, it was raining down on me. It's probably all over in my hair. So definitely protect your, your eyes and you can probably even wear a hat too if you're doing anything that's um, any bigger than what I was doing today. So anyway, I hope that this was helpful seeing just kind of a, a review of this tool. It's always fun to try out new things here and we're always on the lookout for things that can make our job more fun, more efficient so that we can get on to the more fun stuff out in our garden. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.